What's going on, YouTube? Sim with Vengeance back with another video. It's coming down to the crunch time in the baseball season in this little game here. We are right now in a three game set against the Red Sox. Um, we're up three and a half games on them, as you just saw. We're an 85 win team. And in my pre previous video, we were only a 62 uh, a win team. And, you know, as you know, you don't play this game very often, but once you play my player, it, it games go so fast. You're just like, you played like 20 games in like an hour or something like that. It, it goes fast. Um, again, I was a little exaggerative, but you, the games do go fast, and it's just like, wow. So uh, let's get this three game set underway. And as you see right here, uh, Ellsbury got on. But we're about to take care of that right here. One, two. Adios, amigo. Uh, set down on a double play, the 4-6-3. And as you see right there, my home run numbers have jumped a lot. And um, right now, uh, we're about to change all that. And right now, I average jumped above 400. And right there, you just saw me got out. Uh, not really too much to worry about in this game. You're probably going to see a lot of clutch hitting, though. Uh, right there, another easy out. Another thing you're about to see here is in the third game, I changed to my primary position. So uh, a little bit of a change for y'all. I know you see in the last couple of videos, I've been playing second. So, you know, time for the change. They said I've been playing really well, so they moved me over to third. And voila, you know, before you know it, before even the postseason starts, I'm playing third base. But um, I gotta check my contract to see which time, how much time I have left on this contract, because uh, I'm thinking about switching teams. To be honest with you, I like Toronto; it's a great place to play. But uh, you know how baseball is—you gotta stay true to your team. And I want to move to Chicago, play with my Cubbies. Oh, four, six, three, <laughs> deuces. And here we are now, bottom of the seventh inning, one out, down three to nothing with the bases jacked. Can I come through in the clutch? We'll find out here in a second as I take for ball one. That, that pitch is almost at 100, 99 miles an hour. That's some heat right there. But, uh, you know, some, some of these pitchers on these games, wow, I see another one right there, 99. I was late as hell. The numbers seem to indicate he. Well, they say like stronger, more. This one. Very powerful monsters live out in their frontier lands. The problem is, I have no problems with just about any type of monster that comes my way. It's the definition of clutch hitting. Trailing ball. What? Delivered the grand slam. Wow. Now the momentum is shifted. Rabbit. Grand salami. That that one's not coming back. And you know that was cl that's, that's clutch hitting right there. Even though it wasn't the bottom of the ninth necessarily, it really helped my team go for the extra. You know, mile if you want to call it that to win this game. That was a big uplifting home run right there. And we ended up finishing them off five to three. Now we got that extra game lead on them, and you know, extra skill points of course because I hit that grand salami. And who doesn't like salami? Come on, salami's delicious. Um, also, pastrami's pretty good. So, I mean, you could call it Grand, grand Pastrami, too, or Grand Salami, Grand Pastrami. Who doesn't like salami or pastrami? Especially on a sandwich. Come on. And right there, another ground ball out. I'm pretty boring with these ground ball hits, aren't I? 
Uh, right here, we're up. It's tied at three. Oh, look at me. Look at me put out my body. Oh, he's done for. Get out of here. See what I'm talking about? My home run numbers. Last, I think the last time you saw me, it was up to six. Or no, it was. Uh, I don't know. I have to check. Uh, but right here. Whack. <laughs> Goodbye, baseball. <laughs> That one's not coming back. Goodbye, baseball. Another home run. I think this is this park here, the Rogers Center, is a hitter's park. It doesn't look like it. It's kind of like a, a Dodgers Stadium. Uh, it doesn't look like a hitter's park. It's actually a pitcher's park. But the center field wall is only 395 feet. So, I mean, I guess it all depends on, you know, the weather there. I, I think it is mainly the weather because it, it is a pitcher's park, believe it or not. But look at that bomb. Boom. That almost hit the press box seats. Right here. Bottom of the fourth. We already have seven runs in the fourth inning. That's ridiculous. That, hit, that hitting coach is smiling right now. One out. Easy play right there. Maybe a little bit too easy. And here comes another ground ball out. Look at me give out my body again. Come on now. You should know better than that. Next year, I'm going to be the gold glove winner for third baseman. Look at me give out my body still. Uh, we need to see that replay from earlier in the game. And these goals right here, like, my strikeout numbers are really, really low. I mean, that's something that I take my prideful in. If I strike out, it's almost like, in, like I didn't try. And I know one of the things to get on for an achievement on this game is to strike out four times in one game. I'm like, uh, I'm not getting that. <laughs> Some of the achievements that you get on Xbox Live are like strike out four times in a game on my player. And it's like 10 points. And I'm like, yeah, I can wait. I can hold on to 10 points. Some of the, you know, I'm not going to do bad just to get an achievement. And you see there, they're coming back. They scored two runs. It's a three-run game. And right there, that was a bad swing, and I should have I should have let that one go, but I was stupid on me just to even think about swinging that pitch. It was low, and I know it. And pitcher saved me right there, but it didn't pan out the way I wanted it to be because they ended up taking the lead. 9 to 8, as you're about to see here in a couple seconds. Right there. One out. Runner on second. I'm just hoping to tie the game. And I'm about to give it to the announcer again to have him make the call. Enjoy. Exploded out of the pitcher's hand. Kept it just a little bit inside, though. Tough pitch to hit. He swings. A high drive. Straight away center. This could be it. Going, going. Goodbye. Home run. A game-winning shot. And a game-winning shot. That's what you call clutch hitting back-to-back -back games. I'm like Big Poppy in the 2004 playoffs against the Yankees. Hitting back to hitting home runs to end the game or hitting game-winning shots. Look at that. All my hits that you've seen today have been big flies. And now we're going into the third and final game. Um, not really much to talk about in this game. Uh, just to th end up, you know, spoiling it for you, if you want to call it. We ended up losing the game. So we took two out of three against the Red Sox, so it's not bad. I mean, especially against the Red Sox, they're a really good team. Um... Yeah, I, I did up getting a hit, but due to editing pr problems, you know, it's not going to happen. You're not going to be able to see the hit. It was a single, so my average is still pretty good. Still went one for four, which isn't bad. At least I got a hit. 
But I'm a Red Sox killer. Uh, that's what I take pride in, I guess, being a Red Sox killer. I'm not really a big fan of the Red Sox. Uh, like I said before, I'm more of a fan of the Cubs. Still don't like the Cardinals either. If you're a Cubs fan, you don't like the Cardinals. Same thing goes either way around, kind of like Red Sox, Yankees. And that pitch right there, I should have, I don't know what I was doing. I swung way too early. But I still was able to make contact. I don't know what I was thinking. But, uh, yeah, that was definitely a home run ball right there. That was up in the zone. Look at this 12-6 curve hang, and I swung and missed. I was so embarrassed. That's, that curve ball hung. It was hanging up like laundry. But I end up... Oh, never mind. I do end up showing to hit this game. Never mind. I am out of my mind. I'm going crazy. Uh, yeah, it was a double, but we ended up not scoring because uh, other reasons Escobar got out, so I was kind of disappointed. But as you see there, now I'm, you saw me earlier playing third base earlier. Um, doing pretty good. It's hard to get used to the position again, I guess, on the game because the ball on that's why they call it the hot corner, I guess. Because the ball just sometimes just flies at your face. See that average 409. That looks ridiculously high. Uh, see now that we're going late into the game. We're still down two to nothing. We still have a shot, but at this point, it's looking really grim. Things are looking bleak. And now they have the 7-1 lead. They scored five runs in the top of the eighth. And just I'm just trying to stop the bleeding a little bit. Get that third out. Of it. Let me get that out right there. Base is loaded. I'm still trying to hold the bleeding. And I just tagged the guy out. I think it's easier to turn double plays in this game when you're playing at third base. Because... You know, the ball come, it does come really fast at you. So, I mean, if you get that ground ball and you throw it a second right away, that you have plenty of time. And it's almost like it's easier to turn it when you're playing third base than it is when you're playing second base. And that was a horrible hit right there. I should have just held off, but sometimes it's just not your day. And, oh, well, it, it happens. But anyway, we're coming towards the end of the video. Uh, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and my name is Sim with Vengeance, and I'm out.